Oh shit. Bumpy the bumpy the bump bump bump. Yahoo! Oh my god, gravel, gravel, just go lower. Holy shit. So glad I was going slow over that shit. Holy fuck, I would've been fuckered. <laughs> I would've been fuckered. What kind of language am I speaking? <laughs> What's going on YouTube family? How y'all doing today? This is a video from me to you. I hope you all I hope you all will stay. Yay! <laughs> I'm so fucking lame! <laughs> Shit, I'm so fucking lame. <laughs> Holy fuck. Whoa. Wow. Hope you're okay. Oh. Damn. Put him back down the truck. I, I didn't see it with my eyes, but I'm sure you guys saw it through the camera. Holy fuck. But he was driving him. Obviously, he either fell asleep or just wasn't paying no fucking attention. He drove right in to the goddamn curb. It looked like he pulled over. You know, I'm gonna turn around and go check on him. It is the motor vlogger's way, you know. We have to be such caring citizens. <laughs> uh, some people do it for the views, but I'm doing it because it's like, hold up, oh, buddy, you, you good? Cause I, I didn't see the impact. I'm pretty sure the camera did because I was looking for it. But I didn't see the fucking impact, but I'm pretty sure that was quite a joke. It was the curve just high, just fucking like this, man. That, that curve is at least up to my damn ankle. And that guy ran into it head on and was driving on it for a while before he got off. I'm pretty sure he pulled over just to check his truck and stuff, but I'm gonna, if I can get around this serving both coasts of Florida, USA Auto Glass, the difference is obvious here. Yeah, that, all right. I'm gonna go have a look see. Thank you. I saw him pulling into the turning lane. Then he pulled into the fucking plaza and stuff. I'm checking that guy, to make sure he's all right. That was, that was one hell of an impact. Like I said, I didn't see it personally, but I, I fucking heard it. When his uh, tire collided, he probably bent this fucking rim up because from the, that damn impact I heard, obviously he had some momentum. Yeah, let me see if I can get over here so you guys can see the curve. You can actually see what impact happened at, I believe. Boom, right there. Right here in this corner. That's where he hit. Boom, right there. He was riding, riding, riding. Oh, I see some scrapes and stuff. Uh, oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is right there. Let me go, go check on the guy. Make sure he's all right. He probably dozed off or was probably looking at his damn cell phone. You know, you know how Cajun is. I'm not one of those vloggers that ride around, look at people and be like, get off your phone, focus on the road, get off your cell phone and all that shit, cause I'm, though I'm a rider and a mobile vlogger, I, I, I won't lie, occasionally I'm on my damn phone when I'm driving too. Whether it be on a phone call or reading a message really quickly, yeah. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. I saw the impact. I was like, whoa. I was just a little bit too close to the curb. Yeah, because I was sitting right there the uh, cross light, uh -huh. and it's, I didn't I didn't actually see the impact myself. The camera caught it, I'm sure, but I just heard it. Then when I looked, I saw you kind of scraping on the curb. I was like, whoa, it's not. Let me check, make sure he's okay. She went flat. I'm going to change it. Yeah, I mean, the rim's not damaged. That's got a little damage to it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it'd be strange if it didn't, cause you you can actually see on the curve where it, where the impact happened at. Really? Yeah, it left a nice little chip on it. Oh. So I was like, oh god. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I'm trying to look for the railroad. I was looking back down the road to see if I can see the railroad over there. Uh, yeah, the railroad should be just on the next street over, yeah. I believe. Yeah, I was looking for the crossing that they're working at. Mm-hmm. And I turned my head just a second. And then they have. It got over a little bit on me. Yeah. Man. But I'll change it and go on, I guess. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just glad to know you're all right. I appreciate you stopping by, though. Yeah, no problem, man. It's, woo. it's hard telling what you catch with that camera, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's good to always have it on. <laughs> uh, have a good one, man. All right, man. Thank you. Yeah. All righty. Woo. Oh, God. So, okay. So, according to him, he wasn't on his cell phone, so he was turning to try to see where they're working on the railroads and stuff at and I'm I think I saw them working on the railroad early when I was recording some of my other vlogs not sure <laughs> but yeah good thing you know he's okay man cuz wow if that if that tire wouldn't have been flat or that rim wouldn't have been damaged then that would be a surprise as fuck I'd be like yo those are some tough ass rims are those some nice ass tires i am like yo what brand tires are those? And what type of rim is that? Because I need those shits. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I gotta get me a truck. I want me a truck so fucking bad. I want some. I mean, my dad got an old uh, 1985 Chevy pickup at the house. They told me that he was giving it to my uncle, his brother, but he's taking forever to come and get it. So now, my dad at the point where he's down there just gonna fucking sell it. I, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew else didn't happen. That's why I slowed down. <laughs> uh huh. I had one of these videos already. <laughs> With me coming up a damn bike lane, somebody trying to make a damn right turn all of a sudden. Uh huh. Won't go through that again. And that's why you're supposed to filter on the left. Because who's going to make a right turn from. No, I... Oh, did somebody honk their horn? Oh. Oh, there's a car back that's still sitting. <laughs> I was say, you, oh, you're hunking at me? Oh, you poor son of a bitch! <laughs> Yo, that shit was insane, man. See, this is why I love the fact that I have a battery eliminator for my uh, GoPro now, man. Because, huh, what the fuck? Oh, a fucking alarm. Turn it off, bitch. 845. Like I said, this is why I'm glad I have a battery eliminator kit for my damn GoPro and stuff now, man. Because you never know what's going to happen. You never know what you're going to capture on footage. And that, that could have been a serious accident right there. I'm glad no one else was uh, close enough behind him where they could have ran into him or anything. I mean, I don't know if that one car that was coming up, I don't know if he was directly behind him or had already passed him or whatever. Why the fuck do these people do this shit? Why? I fucking hate, see these kind of people. Okay, okay, Never mind. I'll stop complaining. Bike lane, okay, okay. I'll leave him be. I was just to talk so much shit about you, bro. You know what? Since I'm passing by you, that, that gives me another topic. Let me finish what I was saying earlier, though. Black guy battery eliminator kit. You never know what the fuck you're going to capture on camera. Always record while you're riding because you never know when either something can happen to you or something can happen to someone else. Your footage can be the determining factor between the right thing and the wrong thing happening. Awesome. Now for what I was finna say in regards to buddy on the fucking bicycle. <laughs> Those are the kind of bicyclists that I really cannot fucking stand. Like back when I used to drive school bus especially, there was uh, this one route I had. Uh, it, was, it was more towards the end of the day when my day was almost over. There was there always just happened to be this one guy on the bicycle dude that instead of being off to the side or riding in the bike lane, He'd be like, he'd be fucking like this in the middle or the left fucking lane on his fucking bicycle. And then whenever somebody go around him, he turn and shout at him. I'm like, yo, you're on a fucking bicycle in the goddamn road, you stupid son of a bitch. If somebody hits you, they'll be in the right. And you want to know why they'll be in the right if they hit him? Because he's in the middle of the fucking road on a bicycle. There's no bike lane in the middle or left side of the road. There's a reason the bike lanes are always on the right side. Because you're close to the sidewalk. You have an escape route. If something were to happen, you can get out of the way. If you were to fall or whatever, chances are you will fall on the grass if you're lucky and not fall in the road. This is why when I'm on a bicycle, I don't ride in the road, period. I have my ass on the fucking sidewalk because I'm not riding near no goddamn cars. Fuck that noise, son. But yeah, this guy... He had the meanest fucking road rage, and there was one time he actually came up. Now, it wasn't me. He just happened to be in the farthest lane away from me, but I was making a left turn. It was a uh, double left turn lane and stuff, right? 
So a couple of people went behind him because he came up behind me. I was already there. Well, apparently a couple people went around him. I actually saw one person go around him in the uh, side view mirror and stuff. Yeah, they went around him and then he rode his bike up to the light and at the uh, stoplight and he started yelling at them. I'm like, are, are you serious? Are you seriously on a bicycle yelling at someone in a car for going around you on the road away from the bike lane? What the fuck? At the time, I was a fucking bus driver for a goddamn school board, son. I can't, I couldn't roll, roll down my window, or rather, slide open my window or open up a damn door just to yell at this guy and tell him how much of an asshole or whatever he is. I'm on the clock. I got fucking kids on this bus and shit, son. I, 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 got, I had to consider my job, so fuck that noise. But still, it was so amazing to see that happen. Not amazing as in, yo, that's fucking awesome, but amazing as in unbelievable. Like, who the fuck raised you? What school did you graduate from so I know to never have my children attend? Oh, thanks, buddy. But let me try asking moved over for me. What the fuck? And then you got assholes like this. Well, I guess she needs I guess she needs to turn right here. Instead of coming up here with her space to get over, she just sat and way back there. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. So I go from talking about some random stuff to talking about some serious stuff to talking about some bullshit stuff, man. <laughs> oh God, fam. You know what? I'm going to conclude this vlog right here, man. If y'all enjoyed today's video, as for the usual, leave me a like button down below. Subscribe to my channel. You're not already one of my beautiful subscribers. In the meantime, fam, as the usual, this is me, boy, Psychotic Heart. Peace out, motherfuckers.